Deep in the depth of the Amazonian rainforest live a pair of leaf litter frogs, each no bigger than the end of your thumb. Meanwhile, across the vast savanna grasses of Africa, a pair of giraffes unwittingly catch each other's eye. Both of these species have something in common. They are both cryptic species. Therefore, are there more species than we currently believe? However, before we determine cryptic species and how it affects society, it is important to understand and define the classification of an individual species. Life on Earth is broken down by rank, starting with life down to the domain. Kingdom, then phylum, class, order, family, genus, and finally, species. Over time, species have been defined through different theories, the most iconic theorist in this area being Darwin. However, even he was unsure on the definition of a species, stating, no one definition has satisfied all naturalists, yet every naturalist knows vaguely what he means when he speaks of species. Generally, the term includes the unknown element of a distinct act of creation. Currently, the most widely accepted definition for a species is a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. Others believe that using DNA sequencing is a more precise method to identify species, although the percentage difference of DNA between species is still up for discussion. For example, we share 99.6% of our DNA with chimpanzees, but for a bacteria to be called a separate species, there has to be at least a 3% difference. Current estimates put species diversity at 8.7 million, of which we have only documented about 1.7 million species. However, due to the still unclear definition of species, diversity may be a lot higher. Which leads us back to cryptic species. These are often described as animals that appear identical, but are genetically quite distinct and current trends suggest that they may be much more widespread than previously thought. The findings could have major implications in areas ranging from biodiversity estimates and wildlife management to our understanding of infectious diseases and evolution. Reports of cryptic species have increased dramatically over the past few decades with the advent of relatively inexpensive DNA sequencing technology. This has led to cryptic species discoveries such as the Amazonian leaves of frogs and the giraffes of the African savannah. It was found that within the common leaflet of frog species, E. Pachendeni, that there are at least three different species in Ecuador. Diverging over 5 million years ago in the Miocene era due to the formation of the Ecuadorian Andes, this research, coupled with other studies, suggests that species richness in the upper Amazon is drastically underestimated. Through analysing mitochondrial DNA sequences, it has been shown that there are at least 11 genetically distinct populations of giraffes in Africa. This is unprecedented in such large vertebrates that can easily move around and therefore easily interbreed. However, interbreeding wasn't found and the lineages appear to be maintained. This has significant implications for giraffe conservation, both in captivity and in the wild, and may help to improve our management techniques. Another recent discovery is that of the common pipistrelle bat. It has been found that it is comprised of two cryptic species that admit echolocation calls at different frequencies. Here we can hear the call of Pipistrellus Pipistrellus in south of London. Each had different habitat preferences, while one prefers riparian habitats, the other prefers deciduous woodland. Although they are morphologically very similar, the cryptic species show quite different patterns of habitat use. Therefore, morphological differences may be a weak indication of ecological differences between taxa, and conservation planning needs to take into account these differences to meet policy and legal obligations associated with these protected cryptic species. The last but most famous example of cryptic species is that of the Eurasian and short-toed tree creepers. Christian Brenn discovered these cryptic species in 1820 using bioacoustic studies to show that there are two separate species of tree creeper. So why is it important that we understand species diversity? Well, at least 40% of the world's economy and 80% of the needs of the poor are derived from biological resources. In addition, the richer the diversity of life, the greater the opportunity for medical discoveries economic development and adaptive responses to challenges such as climate change. Accepting cryptic species is essential in understanding species diversity and helping us manage our ecosystems correctly so that essential natural services are not lost.